Python and the excellent matplotlib plotting library makes it easy to produce publication quality graphics. Let's see how to use those graphics in Word without suffering the common problems of quality loss in the uh, Word file. I've generated some random data, a little figure, um, and I've saved this figure in three different popular formats, JPEG, PNG and SVG. An important note is that I've set the figure size here uh, using the figure command in the matplotlib library with the fig size argument. These numbers are the width and height of the figure in inches. You should set the figure size before you insert into your document because that makes it so that the font sizes are correct. So you'll see that these font sizes uh, will change if I, if I were to uh, make these figures bigger. So let's change to Word and see what these different formats look like. I'm going to use the insert pictures command to insert the lossy and the raster and the vector formats. Note that you can also just drag the file into your document they all do the same thing we can see that these images look very similar now let's zoom in all the way immediately the differences become clear we see that the lossy jpeg format and the png format uh, show significant fuzziness around the numbers we can even see that these uh, blue dots don't look exactly the same color um, in the jpeg version However, if we go to the SVG version, everything is perfect. Uh, crisp dots, crisp text, everything rendering in vector format. The differences become even more clear when we export to PDF. Publishing using the default settings gives a PDF which when we uh, zoom to similar zoom levels makes the differences very clear. Here we can see the incredible lossiness of this JPEG, uh, some weird little dots and different colors appearing in those blue dots. The PNG file looks better but still shows significant pixelation. The SVG file is clearly the best showing uh, no pixelation and excellent reproduction of the original graphic. A small note that this SVG format is only supported in versions of Word, uh, the Office 365 version of Word 2016 and higher from around April. So if you haven't upgraded recently, uh, this is a good reason to do so.